your hands. Come along for the best you can have a good time. Go fast. Go fast. If this is your first time, go fast. Go Good vibes, good vibes. Come along for the ride so you can have a good time. Good vibes, good vibes. And if this is your first time coming, like and subscribe. Good vibes. What's up, my JB fam? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Liz, and welcome, welcome back. If you are new here, this is your first time tuning in to my videos, do your girl a favor run on over and hit that subscribe button for your girl hit that subscribe button for your girl then come on back so we can chit chat talk it up chop it up and have fun welcome 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 so guys what your girl got for you tonight is some popeyes bulls some popeyes your girl got some popeyes I got red beans and rice. I got hot peppers. I got um, hot sauce. I got my famous barbecue sauce. I'm almost out of it, boo. My famous barbecue sauce. Um, and I wanted to come over here and... We're going to talk about this in a minute. In a minute. But I got my shake em up for my drink. Y'all already know. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Got my shake them up for my drink. I got my hot peppers, hot peppers, and I got my chicken, and I got my biscuit, and your girl is ready to get it in, ready to get it in, bulls. So, guys, for those of you who are new here, I want to welcome you guys into the room. Welcome you, welcome you, welcome you. I appreciate you guys stopping by, seeing my videos. If it's good content and you like it, before you leave the building, hit that subscribe button. Turn your notification bell on so every time your girl upload a video, you can come and sit with me and have some tea. Yes. All right. So let's get this pray in before we get started. Then we're going to chop it up, bulls. Heavenly Father, I want you to thank I want to thank you for blessing me with this meal that I have today. May it be nourishment to my body. Amen. And say amen again. All right, bulls. You know what? I forgot something. I wanted to call upstairs and tell wifey to get it. But hold on. I forgot some bulls. I got to grab a spoon. I, I don't know how I forgot that. Got to get a spoon. Your girl will be right back. Okay, guys, your girl is back. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry, my people. Sorry. So your girl is ready to get it in. Get it in. So how's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a good, fantastic day. I like how they put the beans at the bottom and set on the top, and then you mix it in yourself. Yes, I like how they do that. Because I'd rather mix it up myself than it to be already mixed. That's just something that I go through. I like that. See how after you mix it? Baby, don't look good. Don't look good. It is. Red beans and rice, boom. Okay, y'all already know I got to mix my shake them up. Red beans and rice. I remember when we was little, my mom used to be like, y'all going to eat them red beans and rice. And I used to be like, oh my God, like, they were so nasty. But now, baby, I don't know what my, I guess as a child, your taste buds is, well, yeah, ain't no I guess, I know. As a child, your taste buds is different than when you become an adult. But baby, mm-mm.
You come pack me to eat no red beans and rice. I should be like, uh uh. Take this up real good. I got a whole lot of ice in that too. See that? So that's gonna be good and cold. Good, good and cold. So y'all, excuse my box, my box tore up. Don't worry about that. But baby. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Honey child. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. My barbecue sauce is almost gone. Let's tell you how good it is, baby, because I'm trying to lose, use it to the nitty gritty. Mm, mm, mm. Trying to use it to the nitty gritty. What's been up, my people? What's been going on? I hope everybody is having a great day. Okay, I don't want my biscuit to get wet. Oh, this cup of hot. Baby. Oh, the juice is wasting out. I'm glad I did put it back on her. Uh, the juice is falling out. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. So, for those of you who was with me yesterday, baby, your girl had went upstairs and knocked out after that meal. Baby, Panera had put me to sleep. Panera had took your girl out. When I say out, took me all the way out. We got a whole bunch of juice over here.
Mmm. Yeah, I have a hot. Panera had took the girl out. It was so good. Come on, don't fail me now. Ooh. You ever had that, that feeling? You don't want to drink now yet because you don't want to get too full. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hold on, y'all. Making a mess. Them bread beans and rice is the bomb. But y'all, I want to talk about this. How many people out there like Panda Express? Me, myself, I don't like Panda Express. I mean, to each his own. Not saying nothing about because you eat Panda Express. But I'm here to say something in regards to this sweet and sour sauce that I got. Horrible. When I say horrible, I had went to the store. First off, I went to go get my Popeye's chicken. And I said, you know what? I want it with some sweet and sour sauce. Uh, oh, excuse me, y'all. I said, you know what? I want it with some sweet and sour sauce, but I don't have any at home. So I go to the store to go get some. Horrible. When I tell you, like, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. And... I was going to pour it in the, um, well, I did pour it in the little, you know, the bowl so I could have my sweet and sour sauce with my chicken. And you know how you want to taste it, see how it tastes. Because I've never, I got sweet and sour sauce from this store before that they didn't have the brand that I wanted. So I decided to go with this brand. No. So I did a little taste test. Uh-huh. I'm so mad. Well, I don't know my kids and the wife, they probably, but baby, mm-mm. I kind of see why people taste buds are different. Because some people will like, some people might not like the stuff that I like. But baby, that ain't, uh-uh. I had caught a whole attitude when I tasted that. Because I felt like I wasted my money.
But you know what's so crazy? They always say, follow your first man. Because when I picked it up and looked at it, I was like, no, nah, I shouldn't get this. And still got it. And look what happened. Follow your first mask. I could have got some more of my Candace barbecue sauce. Instead of that. But I didn't even know I was almost out of the Candace. But I should have got that. Instead of this. Sauce. Horrible. That kind of, you know, when you got your mind set and you're like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. When you got your mind set on something and then it don't pan out to what you was thinking about, that kind of throw you off. I'm like, oh my God. So good and calm. I'm like, oh my God, this really has thrown me off. Like, because I had my mask set on. I had my mask set on the sweet and sour sauce. And you know what's so crazy? When I was in the store and I picked it up and I was like, no, I'm not going to get this. I had went on my phone on YouTube and was like, how do you make um, sweet and sour sauce? And was looking at how they was making. Because I'm like, sure, I might make it at home. I should have did that. I think my, my sauce would have came out better than that. Because, baby, that ain't it. Don't fail me now. Oh, my God. My Candace, this is the best barbecue sauce that I've tasted here in Las Vegas. Candace. Whoever invented this, I guess it's this little man that's on the back of the bottle. Whoever invented this, baby, they was on point with this. I guess that's him. They was on point with it. Whoever. And vintage Kinders. Now I want to taste Kinders everything. I saw that they had some seasoning. Then I think they had some taco seasoning. If I'm not mistaken, I think they had some taco seasoning. I'm going to try that too. But yeah, Kinders is the bomb. Hmm. I'm glad I drop it down on the floor somewhere. But yeah, that kind of threw me off. That now I don't have the sweet sour sauce for my chicken. Y'all, 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 y'all already know your girl getting full. And it's so crazy because I only ate a little bit. This, thebomb.com. Yes. The bomb.
Red beans of rice, baby, from Popeyes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. One thing about a breast, it has a lot of meat on there. When I say a lot, a lot of meat. A lot. It has a lot of meat on there. I can sit up and eat this all day. I surely can. I can sit up and eat that all day. Baby, that's so good. This might sound strange, but I can sit up and eat them red beans, red beans and rice with some fish. Yes. Red beans and rice and some fish. It sounds odd, but in my mind, it, it'll taste so good. Yes. I can sit up and eat that. Ooh, that is so good. So good. Yes. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just comfortable with y'all. Like, some people might be in the comments like, is she really just sitting up there just, yeah, this is just me. I act original. I act myself. I don't know no other way to be, boo, but to be myself. I'm sorry. This is what it is. I am so sorry. But, yes, y'all already know your girl is full. And it's so crazy, as I told you guys before, uh, I do portion control. So, yes, I still do my videos, but I still also do portion control. When I tell you, I have to. I have to do portion control. I have gotten to the point in my life that, uh, oh, excuse me, that when you're full, stop. You know when you full, when you full, stop. Uh, I be seeing and hearing a lot of people be like, oh, I ain't full yet. Because you got to give your brain time enough to receive it. Give your brain time enough to receive it. And you you will be able to say, oh, yeah, I'm full. I love that I do portion control. It helped me so much that I looked back. So we gonna chop it up, y'all. We gonna chop it up. We finna chit chat. I love doing um, portion control because it has gotten me to the point that when I look back on like plates that my wife used to make for me, and when I tell you them plates, them plates used to be about this, literally like this big, and I used to eat all of it and be talking about, oh, oh, it was so good. I want some more that I can't believe that I used to eat like big plates like that. Um, I have a lot of people that they've been inboxing me, asking me about how did I uh, lose a hundred plus pounds. And as I tell everybody else, um, it's not an overnight thing. It's not an overnight thing and it can become mentally, physically, emotionally hard, yes. I'm not one of these people to sit up here and be like, oh, just do this and you'll lose that. Just do this and you'll to each his own. But I'm just a person that I'm going to keep it real on what I did to, you know, get down to 100 pounds. Well, I'm really over 100 pounds now. 
And no, I did not do any surgeries. No, I did not do any diet pills or stuff like that. Because I have done all of that before. Well, not the surgery. But I have done all of like the diet pills and the... You know how it be so many things that you see and you be like, well, let me try this. Let me try this. And uh, nine times out of ten, a lot of that stuff do not work. Do not work at all. And then you're stuck back to square one with trying to find out what is it that I need to do to, you know, get this weight off me or to feel better. You could be doing it for health reasons, mental reasons, any type of reason that you're doing it for. But first of all, just make sure that you're doing it for yourself. Make sure that you're doing it for you to make you happy because whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it to make me happy. And I'm very happy. But anywho, so um, if you guys go, now I'm going to breeze through some of the things that I that I do to lose my weight. Lose my weight. I'm sorry, my why? Tongue tied. Lose my weight. But I'm not going to be able to cover everything. So the reason why I'm saying, check my YouTube shorts out. My shorts. I post as much as I can daily showing people what I did to lose my 100 pounds. And again, just go into my shorts and you will see because I go day to day on things that I do to lose my weight. And a lot of people say, ah, oh, you be still eating like Popeyes. But yes, I still eat what I want to eat. I still eat what I want to eat. I'm telling you, if you follow me and you stick to what I'm doing, I'm pretty sure you will see a weight loss. I have um, a couple of people that, not a couple, but I have some people, because a couple is only two. No. I have some people that follow me, and they actually inbox me with their results. I have a young lady that's been following me for a while now, and she always inbox me and thank me like, that's crazy how after all this time, I do what you be doing, and every time I get on the scale, it goes down. I say, yeah, it's a mind. When you think about it, mind, body, and soul. It's a mind thing. Once you get your mind right, you're going to get your body right. You get your body right, and your whole soul is going to feel so much better. When I say so much better, so much better. And as I tell people, no, I'm not a nutritionist, none of that. No, I'm not a... I'm not none of that. I just do what Liz and I thought of it on my own, the way that I do it. But I got the reason and certain ways that I do it from different aspects. And that's why I'm saying you have to go check my channel. Well, you're already on my channel. You have to go check my shorts out to see daily what I'm doing because it's a lot of different things I'm doing. And I'm going to give you guys the basic that I do to get you started if you want to start on your own journey to turning your whole um, like weight loss journey around and a lot of people call it diets or whatever I, it's not a diet that I'm on how am I on a diet and I'm sitting up here eating Popeye's chicken I'm not on no diet no it's not a diet so um, the main things that you want to stick to when you start this is you want to not eat so late that's a big part of it and the way that i started off my journey and i'm telling you guys this because i love talking to you guys i love telling you guys about my journeys and what i go through you guys know i open my door and let you into my world that's what it is um when i started I used to drink so many Pepsis, pop, soda, that when I first started, I was like, I got to let the soda go. Got to let the pop go. So I finally let the soda go. Once I've let the soda go, then and you're not going to see a drastic weight loss or overnight. No, it takes time. Don't rush. Be patient you will see in the end results. You have to be patient. So I'm going to give you three things. Don't eat so late. 
Let the soda go. Let that soda go. Soda. Pop. They have things out here that you can substitute it with. Let it go. Okay? So don't eat so late. Soda. And you're going to add just a little bit of exercise to your routine. To start off. To start off. Just a little bit of exercise. I wouldn't give a care if you had to walk around the block two times a day or take 30 minutes, do leg lifts, arms, and just do something for 30 minutes a day. And you could do it to start off. I was only doing two days out of the week at first. Now I do three days out of the week. But it's a start. You want to start. Once you start, I promise you, you're going to be like, wow. But, anywho, guys, thank you guys for tuning in to another one of my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure that you stay tuned for my next video. Before you leave, before you leave, make sure that you tell your cousins, aunties, uncles, everybody, what your girl over here doing on the channel. And make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you have what? Good vibes. Good vibes. Come along for the rest of you can have a good time. Good vibes. Good vibes. If this is your first time, comment, like, and subscribe. Good vibes. Bye, my GV fam. Until my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.